Sure. Yeah. Good. Thank you. No worries. Um, this morning, Scott Morrison said Anthony Albanese as Prime Minister would be a pushover to Labor Premiers like yourself. You've had a rocky relationship during the pandemic with Mr Morrison. Do you think you'd get more money out of Scott Morrison or Anthony Albanese? Well, uh, the record is very clear. Scott Morrison, every federal dollar that Victorians get from the miserable Morrison government, it's we ought to bow our head and treat it like it's foreign aid. We have been ripped off by this Liberal National Government uh, and instead of Mr Morrison talking about these issues, he ought to have been here delivering for Victorian workers and families. I've had a conversation with the Prime Minister about suburban rail loop and zero dollars. Zero dollars. The contrast could not be clearer. Anthony Albanese is about building things, he's about partnership, he's about creating jobs. Is about making sure that our cities and regions, our nation, actually works. Uh, ab absolute, well, that is a ridiculous suggestion that would only be made by a bloke who is so desperate because he's been there for a decade and done precisely nothing. Done precisely nothing. This project stacks up. This, this project more than stacks up. Uh, it's not a cost, it's an investment in jobs, and a road and rail network that actually takes people where they want to go. Uh, and $2.2 billion is a very significant commitment. Uh, we, would always, we, we would always like more, but $2.2 billion versus zero from Scott Morrison. You know, this is not, this is, this is, this is what, this is what desperate people who have built nothing and done nothing, got an excuse for everything and a plan for nothing, this is the sort of stuff that comes out of Prime Ministers who have just run out of time. Vote. Um, the, the Federal Liberal Party says that your well, drag on, on Federal Labor This is the thing about the Federal Liberal Party. They say lots of things and they do very little. They do very little. If only their talk mattered. If only the pure politics of these people mattered. Let me be really clear with you, Clay. When Victorians were at their, their darkest time, senior federal Liberals proved to be Liberals first and Victorians second. They thought they were bagging our government. They were bagging every Victorian who was following the rules and doing the right thing. And that might be one of the reasons why they're in a bit of trouble in their seats. At the end of the, at the, end of, at the, end of the day, this is Albo's press conference, and back, back, to, back, back to him. 